So in this video, I'm going to make some of the most insane OP mutated Mosasauruses that you have ever seen. But before we do that, let me quickly just show you this little base that we have going on here. It's just a small base. Of course, this is over here on the Genesis Ocean Biome. And uh, yeah, we've just got this giant ass pen right here. What is it for? I have no idea. Breeding. We can do some taming in here. We can just store some creatures in here once I have some actual, you know, ocean creatures. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, then, of course, down here, if you missed the last episode, you should probably go back and check it out. Uh, this is the giant ass shaft leading to my basically ocean floor base, going from all the way up at the surface all the way down to here. It's still super insane to just keep dropping down here. I've just changed a couple little things. I didn't move this or anything. Is that most of humping my base? I mean, it's a nice base. I don't blame you. So, yeah, what I did was I just I kind of just stopped the shaft a little bit up there and, and then we have like a ramp coming down into this building now so i haven't really changed a whole lot in here i've just kind of put some stuff in here uh this mosa what level are you you're just you're very convenient please be a high level uh, okay you know what i guess we're gonna have to kill you because you're basically right here can we do this yeah i guess we can cool oh we got another one over there okay you know what we got to look for these guys at some point so we might as well check them right now that's a level 150 uh probably not gonna tame a 150 you know what i'm gonna get back in here because there's quite a lot of them out here and i'm kind of afraid yeah i didn't even come down here to like properly show you the moses i oh we got a plessy there too uh there's so many things going on outside it's very very distracting we've got a bunch of dead fish in the in the base as well cool well anyway yeah i haven't done a whole lot down here just play some stuff and uh i've basically kind of mapped out something else that we're gonna do probably for a different video um i i was testing some stuff out in single player some stuff that i was curious if it would work and i can confirm that it does and it's gonna be really cool but that's all for a different video today we need to actually start off by taming a two so so we can get ourselves some moses my plan is to drag the moses up and into that giant pen up there using my two so and then taming them up there to make it a whole lot easier for me um it may sound kind of insane i think it's going to be a good idea so hopefully we can actually get them all tamed up up here uh in the safety of my own little base area um and hopefully you know we don't lose any really good ones or or anything like that we'll see how it goes but first we do need a two so so i've come to this area right here on ragnarok which is kind of like the two so area you'll see in a second there's a lot of them down here oh uh, yeah we got a couple of them down there i'm only gonna go for a super high level though so let's see level 60 level 108 yeah there's definitely okay that's a 180 right there uh, cool. I was about to say, there's definitely tons of them down here, so I'm gonna have to probably kill all the other ones first or something, and then we can go for that 180. Which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, we're having some calamari for dinner. There we go. Did that, that didn't even hit. Wow, okay. That would have absolutely destroyed this thing, but it didn't even hit. Cool. There we go. Boom. This is the Dinosuchus, by the way. It's from Ark Editions, a great mod. You should check it out. Okay, so to tame up a Tuso, you got to get it to grab a creature, and then you got to come in here to its little mouth and feed it Black Pearls, 50 at a time. And there we go. Sweet. So now we're just going to have to wait for it to let go of the Dinosuchus, and then we can continue. Are those anglers destroying my tame? No, I don't think so. I think, I think we're good, right? Yeah, that's not doing anything to it. All right, there we go. Second feed. Sweet. And let me check you out. Oh my god, this thing has a lot of points into melee. 48 is pretty good for the first one. I'm not even doing two submutations today. We're doing Moses, and that is absolutely amazing. I'm super happy with that. We will do two sows at some point in the near future, but not today. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of testing to just try and get this Mosa in here, and it's not working out so far. Oh no. It just keeps getting free. Whenever it touches the surface of the water, it will get free. And then also, I guess, if it, you know, clips onto the structures, it will also get free. If I could back the Chuso up and into there, I think we could get it in, but I, that's not possible. You can't actually make the Chuso go backwards, unfortunately. So, yeah, I don't know. This might be a dud plan right here, and I just wasted a bunch of time taming a freaking Chuso. I guess it wasn't that long, but still. It is a good two-so as well. Yeah, that's just not going to work. I even removed the force fields. It's just not going to work for us. All right, new plan might have to be to potentially just trap it with some gates down there. I don't know. I always like trapping the Mosas because it's really annoying trying to, like, chase them down with, like, everything else in the ocean. You can use the tech bow under here, right? Let's switch it to regular arrows. This does work, right? I'm pretty sure it does. 
Yeah, okay, so we can use that to knock out Moses. That is a major annoyance, though. Um, I mean, it was a great two, so I'm so happy that we tamed it, but still. Kind of sets me back just a little bit, although I do have a lot of time allocated to try and get these Moses ready. I'm starting this video way in advance. So I've been searching around for a couple minutes, trying to find some good Moses, and I just keep running into all the same ones, so I figured it would be a good idea to just start killing all of them, which is definitely easier said than done. These guys are fast in the water. I keep getting shocked by everything, and... They're X creatures, so they're really tanky. And let's do another ult. Can we do it? Boom, there we go. Oh my God, you're still alive, die already. There we go. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Hopefully we can get some good Moses soon enough and begin our giant army, our giant mutation chain first, of course. Whoa, okay. I literally stopped over by that glitch. I was about to get it and then I decided not to. And now we're over here, what level are you? You are 120. Okay, this one over here is a 168. I want that. Uh, we're probably going to have to kill this other one, though, and everything else that's chasing me. This is a nightmare. The ocean, it's so dangerous. These guys, they're so tanky. It's so difficult. <laughs> the eels as well. Oh, God. All right. Come on, guys. That Mosa right there is very pretty, by the way. Probably has some Valentine's colors. That event is active right now. That actually leads me into another thing that we needed to talk about. I want to use some boxes of chocolates to try and get these things tamed up a little bit quicker. So yeah, I was going to try and get some of those soon. This is really interesting, actually. I could just swim really, really fast using the tech suit and shoot at this thing. <laughs> Although half of them aren't even hitting for some reason. I guess this works. He's trying to attack my underwater base and I'm just sitting in the little dry area over here shooting at him. <laughs> Barely have enough to knock this thing out and is it gonna get knocked out it might actually get knocked out potentially oh there we go sweet okay oh that was annoying all right yeah no, no. We, we gotta we gotta make a trap i gotta do it as well so i'm like right beside some air pockets or something i don't even know what we what we need to do we need to figure something out though maybe i could build something down here just on top, like some gates or something. I don't know. We need to figure it out because this is too painful. Okay, so this Mosa is ready to be tamed up. I was hoping to try and feed this thing a box of chocolates, which would halfway tame it. Uh, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to get one so far. So far, I did get a little Valentine's candy, but I think there's like a 12% chance that you're going to get the box of chocolates and it just, it hasn't happened so far. So here we go. We need to pop in around 21 kibble and then we should be good. They do take the... Uh, what is it? The, uh, exceptional kibble, which is like the fifth tier or whatever, the yellow one. But this one will do. I have the most of this one anyway, so we'll just feed this instead. And there we go. Sweet. Oh, 48 points into the melee on this as well. Oh, dude, that's dope. That, that melee will do. That's fine. That is absolutely amazing. I'm happy with that melee. I am happy with that melee. That is, I'm so happy about that. Like, usually I don't get good stats in like the first few <laughs> but right there that is honestly amazing that's such a coincidence as well because the other one had 48 points like i don't i don't understand maybe it's like the day of 48 points into melee but uh yeah there we go so now i just need to get one with good health and oh my god i can see why this one had 48 points into its melee look at the stamina 24 like what that is so low <laughs> that is so extremely low I would need a half decent stamina at least for my Mosas, but yeah, I'm just, I'm now I'm looking for the high health and I can kind of judge what health this one had before teaming to try and figure out what kind of health pool we're looking for. But yeah, we're going to have to spend a long time doing all of this stuff. At least we have the box of chocolates to be able to help out as soon as I can get some of them, like 12% chance of getting them. So it's not that bad. I just need to obviously get a massive breeding operation going you can't bring them through obelisks so i can't you know go over to one of the other maps and easily do that so yeah definitely need to bring over more Denonicus though all right so i've got a pretty good mosa here knocked out and it's got eighteen thousand health which is six thousand more than the one that we tamed earlier so boom box of chocolates an absolute crap ton of that taming is already done. It does a full 50%, but you can only use one every three hours, I believe. Oh, and also it will fully heal whatever you use it on as well. And it should be tamed up. Yes, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and check you out then, buddy. Uh, which one are you? Uh, no, that's the one we tamed earlier. So yeah, I tamed this one a little while ago. I've only been able to find high level males for some reason. I don't even understand. Uh, well, I did find a couple females, but they all had trash stats, but I did leave one of them, so I could probably go to find that one. Um, but yeah, this one here at 44 points into the health, 
Uh, this is the new one, 47 points. Okay, that's good. I think I'll go with that. That is really good, actually. So that came out at 23,000. Obviously, something a little bit higher than that would be preferable, but I think I'll have to go with that instead. Uh, the highest stamina that we have is 37, so that will do, I suppose. And then the highest weight that we have is 39. Okay, cool. So anyway, yeah, those are the stats that we're going to go with, but I still need to tame up a female. So if I could find that one, great. If I can't, then we might end up finding a different female with some even better stats. So yeah, let me go take a look. Oh, and as for the trap, uh, here's what we got. So we just got a couple behemoth gateways here, a gate there, and then this is the other side. So they can't go through here. So I just, I can actually place them in with the two. So which is annoying, but I can bring them over if I need to um but yeah so then i just get them to follow me in here and um it's it's pretty easy i just stand out here and shoot at them very very nice it's a lot easier to knock things out with you know land weapons than it is with water weapons so i wasn't able to find that other female that i was talking about instead i managed to find a female with 19,000 health so i just tamed that one up and it came out with 52 points into the health which is fantastic it's coming out at like 25,000, and that's without imprint without any mutations like these things by the end of it could potentially get up to 100 000 health which is just insane so that's gonna be awesome we're also gonna be using that 48 points into the melee from this other one and uh, we'll probably grab the best stamina. I think that was on a different Mosa. So these things are so big, man. This is uh, this is going to be difficult to actually get this whole operation going. I'm probably going to have to move it out to the open water and figure something out. I don't know. They're way too big. They really are. Uh, either this or maybe I'll have to go over to a different map. I'm not exactly sure what my plans are. But for the moment, um, we're going to start the breeding in here. Uh, I was initially thinking of potentially also using mutagen on them, but I looked it up and it's going to cost 88 mutagen to buff them up. And honestly, I just don't think mutagen is super worth it. It really isn't. I mean, like, you know, it, it could be great. An extra five points into each of those stats is going to boost that up a lot. But like by the time I would have enough mutagen to boost the two of them, like I would probably be able to get like triple the mutations that those points actually, you know, add on. So it's totally not worth it. It really isn't. Maybe for official, I don't know if people even use the stuff. I think it's a cool idea, but um, you know, for creatures like this that you actually can breed, it's it's probably not super worth it. If you have a griffin or something else that can't breed, yeah, do it. It's totally worth it. But just this? No, no, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get these stats all combined and I'll get the best stamina in and we have a dead fish here And I'll probably see you guys on the other side of this massive mutation stack because this is probably gonna take me a week or two So yeah, catch you then so jumping ahead We have mutated mosasauruses and let me show you so first of all just a little bit of a recap right here These are all the best wild stats that we got so 52 points into the health 48 into the melee leading to 25,000 health and 400 and 10 melee now this one right here is our mutation stack so i cleanly stacked 30 health mutations and then on a different stack i did 30 melee mutations and then obviously this is a combination of those plus the colors and everything so yeah um <laughs> that health is insane that is honestly insane this is without an imprint as well so it's going to obviously be boosted up a little bit more before levels but we're going from 25,000 health up to 50,000 we almost fully doubled the health actually we were getting like 840 points into the health per uh mutation so it's just it's just honestly insane so i stopped at 30 because i knew that it would land around 50,000 because i thought it was a nice little clean number to use and uh obviously then i brought the melee mutations up to the same number although i kind of regret not going up to 112 points into that as well Either way, though, that's coming from 410 up to 763. So an extra basically like, what is that, like 350 on top? Now, this one right here is an imprinted version of that without any levels or anything. So 20% onto the health coming from like 50,000 up to 60,000. And then obviously the same for the melee. So base Mosas are coming out with 60,000 health and then 913 melee. These things are beasts they are absolute beasts and also look at those colors we're gonna show you that right now oh and yeah i i also went ahead and just increased the size of this pen it definitely needed to happen and you know what one thing i'm kind of annoyed about i didn't show off my breeding operation i had to basically just chuck in a bunch of baby females and let them grow up all in one big cluster and it was kind of a mess and then once i picked it up i was like oh no i can't show that again because you can't just drop out you know fully grown 
Moses and then expect them to go back into that massive cluster. It just doesn't work that way. So I basically had females over here, females over here, and then the one male in the center. And it was just a really big breeding operation. I'm so annoyed that I didn't show it. Honestly, as soon as I picked them up, I realized and I felt like an idiot. Let me show you what these Moses look like. So here we go. Boom. Okay, so check this out. I'll just I'll show the color regions on this one right here so you can kind of see. So the main body is kind of like a pink color, although it looks more purpley in the water like this. Uh, for region one, I do believe that's that like little stripe kind of going along the top here. It kind of doesn't really look magenta, but it is. Um, and then for region two, I think that's either like the inner part right here of these little like the pattern on the back, or that's the stripe here. Three, uh, what is it? Region two and three are basically either ones of those i can't exactly remember uh region four is kind of like this red color right here it's more of like an orangey color right there but yeah it it kind of looks like a little bit of red added into that purple and then what is region five region five is like the tips of the fins and kind of like all the glowy bits so yeah i like it what do you guys think of this mosa i i love the x creatures they look so cool they really do like the 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 patterns and stuff in the water creatures look really good. There's only one that I don't like, and it's the Bathalone. That's because it's got really nice patterns on it, but they kept the old pattern from before. Let me show you the tech saddle. I went ahead and just made one up. I'll probably not use this a huge amount because my other saddle's better in terms of armor, but I did also try to color it the same kind of colors that we had on the most. I couldn't use the green because it just looked way different, but uh, yeah, it looks, it looks really cool. Let me go ahead and just pop on the other saddle, though. Boom. Let's pull that off. I really like the tech saddles, but like, it'd be cool if you could get like, you know, better versions of them. So, oh crap, I'm tech suiting. Okay. I just got randomly shot up like that. I couldn't stop myself. Uh, but yeah, it'd be really good if you could find like blueprints and stuff for them. Although I do believe you can possibly get them from uh, the loot crates on here. I can't exactly remember. Anyway, painted this up and it's kind of somewhat matching it. Not exactly. Like the, the dyes just will not completely match what, uh, what we have going on here. So, um, I think we need to talk about what I should be leveling. We really do need to talk about that. I, I, I don't know what I should be leveling right now. I really want to level just so many points into health and just see. So let's, let's do one point into health and just see how much it goes up by. So we're 60,500, pretty much 510. Okay, here we go. Okay. That's over two and a half thousand per level. That's two and a half thousand and forty. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, we're going up to 100k. We have to. We can't not do that. Like, it would be really stupid not to do that. Are you kidding me? How many levels did that? I don't even know how many I pumped in. I can find out. I can easily find out. Let me go ahead and pick you up. I pumped in 16 levels to get me up to 100,000. Okay. 100,000 health on a most is really, really good. I mean, I could go even higher, but... I want these things to actually do some really good damage. And first of all, before we level any points into the melee, I do need to do the test. Okay, so that's how much they're doing with me mounted on it. Um, it will do a little bit less if I'm not mounted on it because it, obviously we're getting like the little imprint buff up there. What is that? Like 30% extra damage on top and the resistance and everything. Um, holy crap though, that's some really good damage just for, you know, base coming out like that and they're also really really tanky just as they are i don't even need to level anything and they could definitely just obliterate the mooter boss so let's let's do it let's um yeah we're just gonna pump the rest of these levels into that and see what we can kind of get i mean i could have pumped what uh, maybe how many levels would i have to pump in to get it up to 150k uh what would that be D -d 20 levels right yeah because if i'm getting two and a half thousand then you know that would basically get me to up to 150k that is honestly insane oh my god okay 1900 okay this is some really good damage now obviously like i have some land creatures that do way more than that but like the thing is is that my land creatures don't often come out with a hundred thousand health you know well they don't come out with that but you know what i mean like i don't often get them up to that kind of health level they usually have like 40 to 50k and this is just ridiculous though that is so satisfying wow this thing really packs a punch that is insane okay so now what we got to do is let's pop out a female boom and i actually oh i already put a saddle on you good uh let's just get you on follow i just want to see the mate boosted damage because obviously that's going to make a little bit of a difference as well uh let's see let's just, are we mate boosted now okay we're not doing any extra damage i gotta wait for it to catch up to me and we can't be hitting any x creatures either and i gotta go ahead and kill this eel 
eels have like a resistance thing uh or no they don't technically i think it's when you get electric shocked you do less damage let's see how much do we do now Tw okay yeah 2500 that's that's the exact amount of health we were getting per level as well hmm <laughs> okay cool anyway there we go that's ridiculous they've also got a really fast attacking speed as well like moses can attack really fast like that is some real good speed right there that definitely you know the attack speed 100 percent counts and matters when it comes to you know what creatures are good like that's why a spino with the hydration buff is just so much better than a rex because you can attack so much quicker and just pack that crazy punch as well here we go. All right, I, I gotta do one thing before, where the hell's my base? I lost my base already, wow, okay. Let me go ahead and pop away the female, and we're gonna pop the male away in a second once I find my base. Uh, here we are, yeah, it does not It does not stay loaded in from very far, because it's kind of ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and just pop you away. I wanna quickly just head down, because I wanna grab a couple boxes of chocolates, because obviously I have a bunch of those now, and I've put a couple into the fridge as well, so they're gonna last even longer. I'll try to actually, uh, you know, get a couple more boxes before the whole, like, event is ended. I think maybe it might have already ended, to be honest, but I still have it active, so I guess I'll keep it that way for the moment. Um, but yeah, I have a couple boxes in here. We'll take that one, because that one's gonna spoil soon. That one as well. So two boxes. Uh, we can basically feed these to a creature, and it's gonna pretty much just you know fill up its health stat so actually you know what here let me go ahead and just teleport my way out of here i was a smart boy and i did this although should we stay down here nah you know what let's just teleport up put a teleporter down there and a teleporter up here really really smart all right so um i do want to try and make an army but i think for the moment we do need to just go around maybe try to kill some stuff or or maybe do a mission or two i don't know we could figure it out i'll try to figure out what mission i actually want to do chasing the white whale i feel like that's probably a good one to do just two moses and oh wait where is it is it like right down here oh it's like right basically like below my base that's very convenient all right let's uh let's wait for that to go away and then we'll go down here and start up that mission i also gotta say i love this pen now it's just so much nicer to look at it felt quite claustrophobic i don't know why i initially built it just this big um but i'm glad that i expanded it out a little bit it definitely looks a lot better now 100 percent. all right here we go there's the name for our main mosa rainmaker it's actually a really fitting name you know it's <laughs> just this type of thing would uh would definitely pack a, a real big splash if we had some sort of like water park around here oh my god will you go away cyclone you've been there for like five minutes seriously oh it's going wow it listened to me for once in my life something's listening to me all right sorry helena don't want to have to listen to you. There we go. All right, where are we going? We're going down this way. So, you know what? My base is probably blocking quite a few of these missions. I've just realized. It's absolutely awful going through here on a Mosa. Like, they're not very good for, like, maneuvering around and doing these missions. So, I'll just keep it in my hand and we'll just kind of swim our way through. All right, even though I see it. Oh, now we can actually fight it. Sweet. We weren't able to a second ago. I just realized I should, I should have probably grabbed my other one out. Uh, okay, I'm doing 200 damage to it. Wow. That's basically nothing. I'm gonna need to grab my other one. <laughs> oh, that is painful. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, when it comes to these alpha bosses on this map, your best bet is just the Megalodoodles. I'm gonna have to make a Megalodoodle army at some point. I only did that a couple months ago on Ultimate Arc, but uh, we're gonna have to do that on here too at some stage. Cause even though we have Ultimate Arc still going, by the way, yes, it's not dead. I'll come back to it at some point when I have the motivation. I talked about that a couple months ago. But uh, yeah, when we come back to that, obviously I'm gonna finish off the map, but I'm also gonna have to do all that stuff on here as well, because at some point I'm gonna wanna fight the uh, alpha controller. But obviously I'm not gonna overlap too much of that content. We're not gonna do tons and tons of Genesis all at once. So yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna need the, uh, we're gonna need the other Mosa out here real quick. Let's see, can we get away from you for a second? Uh, I guess I could just swim up to the surface and hop off. Okay, can I hop off? <laughs> All right, you go down. I'll, uh, I'll hop onto this one. <laughs> that was scary. It really was. All right, can you fight that one? No? You don't care? Guess not. All right, let's see. Let's try and get down here. Okay, yeah, you are fighting it. Sweet. All right, mate boosted damage. Here we go. Okay, we're doing a little bit of extra damage. Like, we could totally kill this thing. It's just... I completely forgot that they have, like, the resistance instead of just tons and tons of health. Kind of annoys me that they do it this way, but whatever. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do these missions with a, uh, a Megalodon army at some point. 
this is like i know i could do it like there's no issue but i'm gonna be here for like 10 hours trying to kill that thing oh you're stuck in a bubble sorry buddy let me get you out of there i honestly kind of feel like i could probably go in and uh maybe fight mooder with just two moses you know what like that'd definitely be possible yeah you know what let's go do it let's go take on mooder with two mosasaurs all right, let me, uh, let me get back to my base first. We're going to try and heal them up just a little bit first, and then I'll bring the box of chocolates with me. And um, I have no idea where my base is. It's just open waters. Okay, that's the mission terminal. I think we're over in this direction. Should see it soon. I thought I might see it soon, but I guess not. I'm going to have to, like, put a marker on the map or something. I don't, I don't know where my base is. It's out here somewhere. Like, the ocean isn't even that big. Oh, um. Okay, yeah, probably gonna be easier to find it if I come down here. Complete opposite direction. We were all the way over here. All right, let's get you into the pen then, bud. And let me grab the other one out as well. Could be kind of silly to go in here with just the two, but I know that the Mooter boss isn't actually that difficult. It, like, it could be so much more difficult, but it's just not. <laughs> it is actually probably one of the easier bosses. I, I for some reason as well, this is really annoying. On occasion, I cannot access them, and I'm not sure what's actually blocking me doing that. I think it might be the platform and the fact that the pieces are kind of, like, missing. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. All right, well, anyway, let me see if I can try and get Night Owl out here to heal up these two, and then we can head on in. Okay, well, at least I got one of them. Let's see. Let's check your health uh, if I can. Can't scan you with Helena for some reason, but I guess I can kind of just assume that it's going to take two or three goes. All right, here we go. We got the two Moses and... Wow, that teleported me way sooner than I thought. All right, well, anyway, first things first, we need to go ahead and take out all of her minions. Let's see. Can we go after you? Come on, let me get to you. So I did grab some health potions just because we're definitely going to need those in this arena. Uh, they can hit the rider, which is kind of awful. Uh, we got one more minion, I think. Wow, okay, there's not really that many minions. You think there would probably be more. All right, let's go down and kill this one as well. And destroyed almost. Where the hell's my other Mosa? What the hell are you doing up there? Get down here. All right, let's see. Okay, we were definitely going to need you now. What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Let's go for the big, the big thing right there. Come on. <laughs> Can we do it? Okay, we're already in her face. Okay, great. Let's see. Uh, we got to deal a lot of damage to this thing, but luckily we might be able to get some mate boost in a second here. Come on, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. Okay. Yeah, we'll totally be able to kill this thing. Like, I can tank its damage 100%, but like, um, <laughs> I can already tell based on the amount of damage that we're doing to it, we should totally be able to do this. It's kind of crazy though. When they first, like, announced that we'd be getting a water boss, I really expected it to be just this crazy big challenge. Like, this is still pretty difficult to kill. Don't get me wrong, but, like, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's a lot easier. All right, let's see. Come on, buddy. Where the hell's my other Mosa? Uh, don't even see it. There it is. This freaking thing so big, though. Okay. I'm glad that I can't just, like, swallow me whole, because I could totally fit completely inside of its mouth. And it could probably close it and I'd be still inside of there. All right, come on. Okay, yeah, this uh, freaking boss is terrifying looking. I love the model on it as well. So cool. All right, well, anyway, we're just going to be biting away at this thing for a little bit. Uh, I think my other one's doing some work in the back there. Yeah, we're, we're getting in here. We're getting some work done. All right, how much damage have I taken? 10K? Okay, 10K damage so far. Uh, yeah. We will totally be able to kill this thing. Wait, okay, it's immune to damage. It should go away in a second, right? Where's the minions? All right, let's uh, let's get up here and take out these minions then. So it's kind of like one of those staged boss fights where, you know, you have to basically kind of, you know, do this and then do that and then it will come back out and stuff. I like that. It, it definitely breaks it up a little bit. Makes it less of just like biting something for like 10 minutes or whatever. Come on, can we squeeze this last little bit of damage in here? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? What is that, like 15k left? Ah, oh, Mooder, you suck. Get out of here. All right, last one. Let's do it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Oh, she is actually healing pretty quick there as well. All right, let's get in here. Go away, Cyclones. And 
You should die in just one second. That is ridiculous. Going away for 15,000 left. There we go. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I want to grab a Dermis, but also the Cyclone. Can I tech my way out? Nope. Uh, come on. Let me. Let me. <laughs> let me do it. Let me, uh, come on. That's not fair. Go away. God, these things are the worst. Like, stop existing. All right. Let me just try to we'll start over here. And then if it pulls me towards it, at least I'll be going through her. Can we get a Dermis? There we go. We got one. Sweet. All right. Let me go and sit inside of her mouth or something. Such a crazy looking boss, though. I love it. Like, the design is so cool. Like, the detail on this thing, it's gigantic. But, like, there's so much detail to it. I wonder how big it is compared to some of the other bosses. It's definitely bigger than all of the island bosses, for sure. But I don't know how it compares to some of the titans and stuff on, on Extinction. This is so cool looking though. All right, sweet. Well, anyway, uh, the loot we're about to get in one second is going to be absolutely trash. It usually is. Uh, yeah, nothing great there. Nothing great. Best thing out of it's probably the mining drill, honestly. <laughs> All right, where's my... Uh... Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, no, no. Let's put you on passive and then unfollow maybe. Oh, wait, no, you're following my guy. All right. Let's go ahead and just pop you away. Let's see how much damage you took. Yeah, uh, 43,000 on this, uh, 40,000 on this one. It's, it's just, that's just ridiculous. That is just some really, really crazy amount of time and effort in there and like hardly any damage to these dudes. Like, I, I just wonder what it would be like having a full army of like 20 Moses. This is the thing though. Like, do I make that army? Is it worth doing? I don't know because now I I realize the way to kill the the alpha uh, hunt missions is to just use bleed, you know, like going in there with the with the hopes that a giant army of twenty moses can kill it really quick is just not gonna work out. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, moses are like super cool looking and and amazing to use. They're honestly one of my favorite water creatures. I love the Tuso as well, but I love the most and especially this X version. The one thing that I would say about them is they should be immune to jellyfish and they should also get a TLC. I'm waiting, wild card. I'm waiting for you to give my beauty a TLC. Make it look even better than it does now and make it even cooler or something. I don't know. We need like a breach ability. I, I think Amosa should be able to jump out of the sky and grab a freaking Quetzal and, and drag it down into the depths or something. I don't even know. Just something. Need something extra. Where the hell is my base? <laughs> I'm so confused. There's that thing. I think it's over in this direction. I just keep getting lost here, man. It just all looks the same. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know if I will build a giant army of Moses. Like, it might just be worth it to just keep two of them. Although, I did put all this effort in, and I definitely think at some point we should probably get a full army together. But what can we really use that army against? Because we can't bring them on land, obviously. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure some stuff out. <laughs> You know, maybe there could be some more Arcaditions bosses that we could possibly use them on at some point. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and kill this turtle. I don't even know what level it is. I just want to kill it. Boom. All right, sweet. Well, anyway, if I can find my base, then that will be the end of today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, let me know down below by hitting the like button and leaving some comments as well, you know. Always appreciate the feedback. You know, the videos are taking kind of a different direction lately. We're doing less of them and I'm trying to do more in them. So let me know what you thought about this one because a lot of effort went into this one if you couldn't tell. Anyway, that is it. And I'll catch you in the next one.